today um, I want to bring you another video uh, exposing uh, the false prophets. Uh, I know many of you have been watching and seeing uh, some of my videos. Uh, and I'm going to keep it right here until the Lord moves me on. I know I'll be able to talk about a few more other things. There's some other stuff that the Lord has definitely been putting into my spirit and into my heart. But I also feel like the Lord has been definitely tugging me into this particular area um, because I'm warning some people. And of course, there are some people that don't want to be warned about this particular uh, situation because they are comfortable with these false prophets. They're comfortable uh, bringing their offerings to them. They're comfortable because they make them feel comfortable. Um, and we read this throughout the scriptures um, that many of the false prophets brought a false hope to uh, the people. And so today I want to be able to share something again once uh, um, uh, which is something that I've that I've definitely been bringing many of you today. I know that there's some skeptics out there. I know that some of you have written to me and you've posted uh, uh, some comments saying thank you. Uh, I didn't even know this. Wow, God bless you. Uh, things like that. And of course, if this is opening o opening your eyes and opening your ears and opening your spirits to the lies and deceits of the enemy then leave me a comment, uh, say something in there just to let me know, brother, you're, you're doing uh, the Lord's work. Continue to keep pressing because as many as, if you, as many of you that do encourage me and to continue to pray for me and the ministry that the Lord has definitely developed here, um, there are as many discouraging, mocking and ridiculing and so on and so forth. So I, I do believe that I am on the right track. I do believe that uh, um, that in this season and in this, in this time that I am doing the Lord's work. Uh, and I'm going to continue to do it regardless of what people say, regardless of what people feel. I'm going to definitely continue to allow the Holy Spirit to give me this information. Again, this is not stuff that I'm like going out there and looking for myself. I'm not looking for dirt. This stuff is coming to me. And if it comes to me, I feel the conviction in my spirit to share this with you. I'm not getting anything out of this. I'm not getting money. I'm not getting I'm uh, none of that. You know, uh, followers, subscribers, whatever the case may be, I can do with all that stuff. If I'm helping someone to get closer to the Lord by by doing this, then I pray that I am encouraging one of you to get out of this kind of living because there are false prophets and Jesus said there will be many false prophets in the last days who will deceive many from the truth but i'm going to play a clip um to you and i want you to see this clip um of course these particular uh so-called prophets have um have called themselves prophets uh, uh many of you know who they are i'm not going to say their names because you're going to know them straight away as soon as you see them um but here they are, guys. Here is the video. Uh, check this out. Prophet Law, you are going to collect offering from the 10 ladies that wants to be married. All you marriage. Hi. Okay, so in, in, this, in, this, uh, in this video, what we're going to see is Prophet Law and Prophet Passion. They're going to be collecting an offering from these ladies who want to get married. Okay, these people, they want to get married, and so they're collecting an offering, and they're and they're asking for a seed, so that they can receive a prophetic uh, word from the Lord. Uh, I'm going to play it again, but here we go. Prophet Law, you are going to collect offering from the ten ladies that wants to be married. Oh, oh. Ten ladies, he says, from ten ladies. Oh, you marriage. Hi. Papa only saw 10. This is how we will know. Papa, this is how we will know. Shh. This is how we will know that the 10 are the 10 and others will weed themselves out. 
<laughs> Somebody said, wow. <laughs> wow. Grab a seed of 1,000. Grab a seed of 1,000. And there's 10 women that they're asking for. And watch. If you have it, move forward. Move forward. Sound right here. A seat for 1,000. The 10 people come. Where are the 10? The 10 all. The ten. Ah, you quit your blessing. You quit your blessing. So someone said, I don't have $1,000 to give you. You, you. you have to make it happen. You got to make it happen. Listen. Yeah, don't, don't try to sow next week. Don't do it next week, he says. Sow your seed now. Mm. Now. 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 We need the money today. The service sucks. But you're going to do it after service. Mm. Okay, stand here. I just don't, listen to me, guys. Listen, listen to me, children of God. Don't, you know, I'm following what God has spoken to me. And I usually say it even at home. If don't make a vow to God that you cannot accomplish, it's dangerous. You know, God, remember when I was teaching prophetic class, I was telling you that angels have no feelings like we do. Mm. If you say you do something and you don't do it, they will come for you. Mm. You know, God is a God who honors his vow. So if you're going to do something, make sure you can do it. Don't say you will do something and you don't. You just bring problems over yourself. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He has to count them to make sure that there's 10 so that they get $10,000. Yeah. Papa, can I just open for the other ones who also have anything first? But I'll bless these ones first. So here, he's wanting anything at this point. It, it doesn't even matter if they can't give $1,000 as long as they can help out with a little bit more. What they're itching to needing this money for, well, we, we, we don't know, but. Is that okay? Please give me oil. Somebody give me oil. He needs the oil. Can I give them a prophetic instruction that will sound strange, Papa? Is that okay? It's it will strange. sound strange. But for all of you, hmm. okay? I'm going to anoint you. And I'm going to lay hands on you and pray. But we are going to do something that Elisha did and commanded a great man to do. Whenever there is a stigma on you, it is a scent in the spirit. You're going to go on your sink. You're going to open your water, running water. You're going to wash your face seven times. Speak water, wash your face first time, second time. And all you'll be telling the Lord is, thank you for renewing my presence in the world. Uh, this, you guys are not prophetic enough. I thought I was... So he's trying to persuade them and convince them that this story of Elijah was now that this is what they have to do. This is how they have to be prophetic enough to understand this uh, weird prophetic word that he's saying. He wants them to be convinced enough that this is from God. Follow this prophetic instruction. Now your problem will be, who is the right one? <laughs> so you're going to give $1,000. You still got to find out who the right one is. There you go. All getting slayed. Something has been shifted in Jesus' name. Amen. Um. Papa, can we just help the others too? Let's just help. Bring whatever you have. Those who want. So here it says, same blessing for less than the first 10. Just gave 10,000. So now the blessing is going to come for those who couldn't give a $1,000. But whatever they can give, um, there's going to be a blessing. But there is something that, that um, Lowe says here uh, about someone who wants to give a dollar marriage to just come but find your best not one dollar <laughs> wow <laughs> and he laughs 
Right. One dollar has been. <laughs> Come, stand, stand, stand. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pour some oil on you. You need to be greased up. And there he goes, slapping people with the oil. Just from that, that thing that has been holding marriages is broken. Amen. Amen. Somebody shout, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Shh. Quiet. Mm. Still, still. Be still. In Jesus' name. Somebody say thank you, Jesus. Thank, thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Okay, so what what do we have here, guys? What do we have here? So I know I've shared this word uh, to you many times before, but in Micah, the third chapter, it says, Her leaders pronounce judgment for a bride. Her priests instruct remember what he says he says i want to give you prophetic instructions right these are the false prophets so her priests instruct for a price and her prophets divine for money yet they lean on the lord saying is not the lord in our midst calamity will not come upon us so yeah they're saying in the name of Jesus and, you know, a lot of uh, immature Christians today cannot believe that someone can operate in this way because they are saying in the name of Jesus. Well, let me tell you, they can. They're just not talking about the same Jesus. They're not talking about the Messiah. The Bible tells us that there will be another gospel, another Jesus that they will begin to preach. They're not preaching in the name of the Holy One of Zion. They're not preaching about Jesus Christ who actually died on the cross and set the captives free. They're talking about another idol, another Jesus, another form of worship. This is what the devil is doing through many of these people today. And when we read these verses, especially in Micah, Ezekiel, uh, 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 Isaiah, and many of the other ones, Jeremiah, we read that these false prophets were prophesying on behalf of of God, but they were not. They were speaking on behalf of a demonic spirit, of the spirit of the Antichrist. And we are seeing a perfect example of that through this men here today. And it's just not them. There are many that are out there today that are coming from the woodworks and they're coming for your money. And they say that if you sow this seed, if you sow this seed today, that you will receive your blessing, the, the prophetic word that they give you, the prophetic instructions that they give you. As long as you follow that, you will be blessed. This is what they're saying, but what, what they're really doing is cursing you. They are cursed. That poor woman that was lying on the ground was being cursed. Every person they were touching on the forehead, they were being cursed by a witch. That, my friend, is a form of witchcraft. This is what they do. This is how they practice. And many of you don't know that. You just think that what they're doing is of God, and it is not. This is blasphemy. This is heresy. This is a mockery of God. This is wickedness and sinful. And the Bible says that in the last days, these things will begin to happen and lure many away. That there will be a doctrine that will be taught by demons in, in, the, in the book of Timothy. As Paul writes to Timothy about these particular groups that will come later in the last days. And we're seeing it today. And they're walking around in their Gucci's and driving around in their Mercedes Benz and their Lamborghinis. And they're flying in their private jets, living in their luxury homes, being supported and being... Um, sponsored by many of these worldly uh, 
politicians and 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 supported by many of these uh, celebrities that we see? Why do you think that is? Because the devil knows that as long as they're being supported. As long as they're being promoted by these people, the world sees that they're being promoted and they're careful and they're, and, they're, and they're worshiped even by the world. The world that lives within the church today is going to see that and say, wow, that must be great. And this is why we see Steve Harvey, Tyler Perry. We see Kanye West, Justin Bieber. All of these people are being invited to come and preach at, the, at these big mega events at these mega churches. You want to know why? Because the church is promoting the world and the world is promoting this kind of church. And this is not of God. God is a holy God. He is a righteous God. And this is blasphemy. It is an abomination to the eyes of God. And those people who support this kind of stuff, let me tell you something. Judgment will come upon you if you don't repent. That is witchcraft. That ain't prophecy. That is not prophetic. That is not divine. That is not the Holy Spirit. That ain't the gospel of Jesus Christ. That is from the pits of hell. And many people around the world who are coming at me because I'm speaking against this, because I'm exposing this kind of stuff, are getting mad at me because they're saying, oh, there's nothing wrong with him. There's nothing wrong with the, what they're doing and how they're doing it. I see everything wrong with it. I don't see why anyone needs to sow a thousand dollars to receive a prophetic word to get married. And if you don't have a thousand dollars, well, you won't get a blessing. And they're putting a dollar amount. This is what Micah was talking about. And we are seeing it unfold today. And as long as the Lord continues to anoint me to do this, I will stand and proclaim his truth. And I will expose every wolf with sheep's clothing. I don't care how many toes I have to step on. I don't care how many people I offend. Because when Jesus came, he offended many. And the multitude that followed him at the very end, right before he was crucified, there was a small handful of people who truly followed him. And his word tells us that narrow is the gate that leads to everlasting and why it is the gate that leads to destructions and many will find it and we are seeing this prophetic warning take place today you want prophecy you want a prophetic word there it is straight from the mouth of christ be careful that you are not falling into this and if you are you need to repent and ask God to forgive you of this kind of filth blasphemy so Lord I pray in the name of Jesus for anyone who might have been exposed to this I pray for a spiritual covering over their life in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for the blood of Christ that was poured upon Calvary for those who were broken, lost, desperate, and alone, needing a Savior. And you were that one. You came from heaven to earth, Lord, to redeem those who were broken and lost. And we thank you for it. I pray today that you may set the captives free and those who are bound to this kind of life. May every shackle that binds them to it be broken. May every generational curse that binds them to this be broken. In Jesus' mighty name. I pray that if this has encouraged you, if this is waking you up, don't be uh, someone who's, you know, kind of like, being um, on that side and you're being stubborn about it and you're being rebellious about it but start to really look in your heart and ask yourself is this really of God? Is this really what the Lord is saying? Because these people are saying that the Lord told them 
that the Lord told him, that the Lord told him. And let me tell you, in my spirit, there is a quenching. That is not from God. So Lord, in Jesus' name, may you fill this person from the top of their head right down to the soles of their feet. God bless you, and I will see you on the next video.